one time. I walked by and I saw the pool water was going up and down. And we were like, oh my gosh, we have bears in the yard. Oh, don't come talk to me, girl. <laughs> When we were still in the process of buying, the realtor did tell us there is a lot of bear activity. But we didn't realize how much bear activity we'd have until we actually moved in. We're the first house from the National Forest. So we're the first house that they would visit on their way down. We learned what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. Hey, get out of there. We always keep the doors closed and the windows closed. It's been a couple of months now that they'll come by. It's cute. We've gotten one bear that just comes and takes naps inside the pool. The other bears definitely like to play in that at the different floaties. And then they hop out of the pool and go on back to the forest or down the street. We love seeing them. So every time they come around, we start recording them. But Maddie Bear, she's our most frequent visitor. She was very comfortable and curious. She'll move. I remember one time she came around with the cub. We were like, oh my God, she must have been pregnant. And oh my gosh, they were so tiny and just adorable. She's on full-time daycare as being a single mom. <laughs> Maddie likes to swim. She'll go to the other end and back and soaks herself down. And when she wants to play in the pool, the cubs are in the background having a bunch of fun. So she was probably happy if she didn't have to deal with him. Oh my gosh, such a cute little thing. When we first moved in, we were scared. But they've kind of changed our life, and I would say for better. We get to coexist with these beautiful animals. So from that scary experience, it's now turned into a positive for us. And we definitely feel like it's a privilege 